when we're out in a cornfield in the middle of the season, what I'm always looking for is nutrient deficiency signs on any plant to see if there's something going on with our fertility program in one area of the field or in the whole field. Now, Brian, when we're thinking about big things like nitrogen deficiency, what does it look like? Where are we going to see it? Okay, before we get into what the nutrient deficiencies look like, I should first say, just because you don't see nutrient deficiencies doesn't mean you don't have nutrient deficiencies. So I just want to make that real clear up front. That's why we recommend tissue sampling and scouting your fields. If you're seeing nutrient deficiencies, you've already lost a significant amount of yield. You have to do something going forward because you don't want that problem to happen next year. All right, with nitrogen, what it's going to look like is on the lower leaves of the plant, you're going to see yellowing. It's very common for people to say, oh, it's firing and we're dry. Uh, very seldom do I see corn plants that are short of moisture and that's what's hurting yield as the number one factor. It's a nutrient deficiency more than anything. That yellowing, if it starts from the tip of the leaf and works its way up the midrib of the leaf, that's nitrogen deficiency. Well, the other side of that, Brian, is when we think about plants that don't have enough moisture or don't have enough nutrients, this is a problem that kind of works hand in hand because if you're short of nutrients, what the plant will do is suck in more moisture yes. trying to get food. Yep. So it makes that drought condition even worse when you're short on nutrients. Now, the other thing that gets confused, Brian, is potassium deficiency. How yep. can you tell the difference between that and nitrogen? Real easy. Potassium deficiency is also yellowing on the lower leaves of the plant and it also starts at the tip of the leaf, but it works its way up the sides of the leaf. So if you see yellowing on the outsides of the leaf, that's potassium deficiency. Yellowing on the inside of the leaf or the midrib of the leaf, that's nitrogen deficiency. But we also see phosphorus deficiency on those lower leaves. And why are those nutrients all showing up on the bottom of the plant? Yep, the reason why is because they're mobile in the plant. So N, P, and K are mobile in the plant. So if the plant is short in the new growth, it will rob N, P, or K from the old growth in the lower leaves. That's why the lower leaves will show nutrient deficiencies. What phosphorus is going to look like is a purpling. So if you see purpling on the lower leaves, now certainly there are other things that can cause purpling. It could be a carryover issue. It could be other environmental factors and sometimes Plants just look purple just because they have excess sugar there. But if you see purpling in the lower leaves and it's a nutrient deficiency, that's phosphorus. Okay, so how about when we're seeing things on the upper leaves? You see some striping on some plants this year, yep. and we see some just kind of flash a, a, a really light color when they're growing fast. I mean, what, what are we seeing at the top part of the plant? Yellowing on the upper leaves is not going to be N, P, or K, obviously. It's going to be sulfur or one of the micronutrients. Now, I can't tell for sure which one it is, I, I wish I could. It's easy determining the difference between nitrogen and potassium on the lower leaves, but I, I really can't tell in the upper leaves. So my suggestion for you is if you see yellowing in the upper leaves, send it in for analysis, send it in for plant tissue sampling. That's the only way I can really figure it out. And those nutrients, when they're showing up at the top of the plant, they're non-mobile in the plant. So the plant can't rob them from the bottom, yep. so that new growth is just going to be short. That's why it's showing up on top. Well, once again, we want you out scouting in your fields. I know it's late in the year. I know there's probably not a whole lot you can do about it yet this year to correct any problems. Problem, but you've got to be out there looking and trying to figure out what is going right in my field and what's going wrong. Well, one thing that certainly has gone wrong in a lot of fields this summer is controlling our weight of the week. We'll show you what it is coming up next.